Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade 144 Scale Zaku 3 Custom. So, uh, this is like the second Zaku 3 I reviewed it, <laughs> and this one's actually pretty cool. In fact, uh, this is the one that the uh, P Bandai uh, Twilight Access version is based on. So, let's take a look. So here we have the box right here, uh, apparently uh, this one is the custom Neo Zeon Mashmere's custom mobile suit. I don't know what this is from, maybe from uh, Double Zeta or something, and this kit was released in 1999. I know the uh, regular Zaku 3 was on the Double Zeta anime, but I'm not sure where this one uh, is from. Anyway, we just have some pictures of the Zaku 3. One has some distinctive differences between this one and the uh, regular Zaku 3, and I'll talk about that in the review. So we got some features here, very nice, and then uh, the uh, retail price for this kit in uh, 1999, the MSRP is 1500 yen. Alright, that's the box. Let's take a look at the manual. We do have this uh, very small sticker sheet. I didn't use the yellow part, I just used paint. And uh, I used like the, uh, the sticker for the mono eye and that uh, little, uh, uh, I guess like the visor uh, or the sensor section around the mono eye. And here we have the stuff regarding the suit. Some uh, technical specs. So, let's see, uh, we it's made from Gundarium Alloy, Composite, 2 Head Vulcans, uh, Optional Rack Shield, High the Bomb Layer, Beam Cannon, Beam Saber, and Beam Rifle. Alright, yeah, here we have some pictures of the kit, and uh, this is how it looks like all painted up and detailed, very nice. Some more pictures over here. And uh, some more pictures on the back. Yeah, uh, if you don't do a lot, if you don't do some work on this kit, it's not gonna look anything like the, the picture. This is what's disappointing about some of these uh, older, uh, older uh, generation uh, Bandai kit. This one's from 1999, so this one is, let's see, this one is close to 20 years old. <laughs> yeah, it's about 19 years old. It's very uh, surprising. Alright. So, anyway, uh, let's talk about the accessories. We got two of these uh, beam sabers, which are pretty much uh, just more than one color. So I had to paint the beam saber gold. I was going to paint it yellow, but I think gold looks better. So, yeah, it's holding the two beam sabers. Some people call these toothpick. <laughs> yeah, they do look like toothpicks if you don't paint them. Yep, and uh, just like the other one, the other one also came with two beam sabers, and I only painted one. So here we go. You can pop these out and store these if you like. And uh, we have this beam rifle here. Very nice. I did have to paint the uh, uh, the camera right there red. And uh, we have a removable magazine. It's pretty cool. All right, and it can wield the uh, beam uh, beam rifle. Let's go ahead and pop this in, and uh, you can use the other hand to hold on to the magazine, like a handle or something. Probably better if I position it properly. Still somewhat tricky to do. <laughs> uh, these older kits don't have swing out poly caps, it's just a straight peg from the torso. So, uh, posing certain weapons can uh, present a bit of a challenge. They just don't have, you know, uh, that well of a design uh, compared to a lot of the modern high grade kits. Alright. And uh, I guess it can sort of hold this weapon, sort of. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to get it to uh, look like what the 
what it looks like in the manual. Yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get. Still looks pretty good. I hope uh, they do come up with a more uh, updated version of this kit. So for accessories, we have uh, two trigger fingers. Very nice. You can put this gun on the other hand if you like. And we have two uh, universal uh, gripping hands, multi-purpose gripping hands. Let's put this away. Put the sticker away. And take a look at the kit. Pop off the beam rifle. Uh, the color of plastic that this kit is molded with is not too great, to be honest with you. Uh, this green looks very toyish, and uh, since it's like an older kit, it's got seam lines everywhere. Although, to be honest, I really don't care about the seam lines. Uh, overall, still looks pretty good. Uh, the joints are kind of loose compared to uh, you know a lot of the more modern kits. It just feel a little bit uh, you know doesn't feel as solid as some of the more modern kits. But it does look pretty nice once you get it all detailed up. I did some panel lining. I did some painting for some of the parts. I was gonna leave this kit as is. And since I don't like the green color, I was gonna go over it with like a you know a darker shade of green. But I decided you know if I'm gonna build model kit, I'm gonna make it look presentable. So I did all the details on this kit. I did all the panel lining, did all the painting, everything. I even added some st stickers. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of decals. It doesn't have any decals whatsoever. So I added this Zeon uh, logo right there. Also painted the back here, this little uh, Neo Zeon symbol. Painted in all the thruster ports, red. And yeah, it looks pretty good. So the articulation is pretty much the same as the older uh, Zaku 3. But here, let's talk about the differences between that kit and this kit. So it's got this whole new back skirt piece. With this whole uh, back section with the Zeon logo right there. Looks really nice. And then uh, so had these added knee armor. Uh, this red part, these are new. And the head is completely different from the other one. Uh, that one has like two fins sticking on the side. And if you notice, I did actually paint it in the Vulcan on the side of the head with gold. Make them more noticeable. And uh, this one just have like a more uh, classic Zaku looking uh, head, which I like better over the uh, the uh, regular Zaku 3. It's also got a more uh, Zaku-ish uh, I guess a shoulder armor. Yeah, look at the spike. This thing is different from the other kit. And let's see what else. Uh, well, the f legs are a little bit different. It's got these uh, front section here which you're supposed to put the sticker on. And the whole backpack is different. Now you could swap out the backpack so if you want to make the P Bandai, uh, you don't want to spend like $60 getting the P Bandai uh, Zaku 3, you can probably just paint this guy red and swap out the backpack with the uh, uh, the regular Zaku 3 kit. And then you can have yourself a uh, P Bandai kit and you can have two Zakus, <laughs> two Zaku 3s. So that's pretty cool. Alright, the articulation is very dated on this one. Oh, actually, I forgot what to mention one thing. We do also have these uh, beam uh, cannons or beam saber. The beam saber is actually uh, supposed to be underneath the skirt, as you can see. Yeah, these are the beam sabers. But you can, uh, the Zaku 3 can use them as a weapon. We do have these uh, handle that swings out, like so. And the Zaku 3 can wheel these as uh, weapons. So. It works just uh, like the other one. So, let's see. You just gotta position it properly. Probably gotta move the arms a little bit. Like that. Yeah, one goes in and one goes out. I really wish we got a modernized version of this kit. It would actually be super awesome. It's 
especially for Xeon fans like myself. Okay, well, I did my best. The other one seems to be able to do it better. I'm gonna keep this up. Okay, there we go. It can fire the beam sabers or beam cannon like that. Looks really awesome. Alright, so you can see uh, the front skirt, you can lift up the front skirt and the handle swings out. So that's that. Alright, let's start from the bottom. So the feet on the ball, uh, ball joint right there, connect to that poly cap. So you can swing it back and forth, rotate. Uh, we got a single uh, bent knee right there. It's technically double jointed, but yeah, it's so bulky, you can't really do anything <laughs> other than just bending it like that. This is not even a 90 degree bend. <laughs> All right, and then uh, in here we got the two ball joints connect to the poly cap, so you can move the leg out like that. So I learned from what I uh, found the previous uh, Zaku 3, I did glue in these uh, parts inside. So tapping these will make the uh, source of out. Also glued at the one in here. You can see a little bit of glue Has, that hasn't dry yet. <laughs> also glued at these in. All right, pretty cool. And then, uh, Let's see, you have a waist rotation here. You actually have a three, uh, full 360 rotation, so that's pretty good. Unlike this Aqua 3, which you can't even rotate the waist section. And we do have a little bit of app crunch, which is pretty phenomenal for such an old kid. Head, you can rotate 360. It's on a ball joint, just a single ball joint, like that. Uh, you can't do anything in the monolite. The monolite is just a sticker, and you can't you can't move it, make it look uh, left or right. So that's a little bit unfortunate. The shoulders on the ball, uh, shoulders on the peg attached to the poly cap. So this is as good as you're gonna get. And this thing is also attached to the poly cap, so you can articulate that. Same with this piece. However, uh, this is only this is the only thing you can do with this shoulder arm, like that. Uh, we do still have the uh, bicep swivel, and we have a single bent elbow like that, hands on the ball joint, and the way it's connected, uh, it just slid the hand. <laughs> I guess uh, this can give it extra articulation if you just want to move it, but it looks kind of, uh, it doesn't look that great. Yeah. Th this kit is just screaming for a revive. Hopefully, uh, you know, pe we, people can generate enough interest in the new in the Zaku 3. And uh, hopefully in the future we get like a revived version of this, of the Zaku 3. And uh, we got these backpack right here. These fuel tanks, you can uh, move up and down. Not really much you can do with these thrusters. You can move them a little bit. And the backpack is removable, easily removable. So you can swap out this backpack with the other Zaku 3. Again, uh, the detail on this kit is okay for such an old kit, but uh, you know, a modernized version will probably make it look even more detailed with a lot more new uh, molded in details. But overall, this is still okay uh, for 18, uh, 19 year old kit. <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty decent, in my opinion. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Zaku 3. I hope you guys find this review helpful, and as always. Thanks for watching.